G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a 10,000 kilometer review on the Donaldson Snorkel Pre-Cleaner that I fitted to my Land Cruiser 200. We'll quickly go over how it's held up and we're gonna go through what it's caught in the last 10,000 K. So stay tuned to find out more. Now guys, this video is not gonna be in a structural video on how to fit these and how these things work. It is just a 10,000 kilometer review on how effective they are on day-to-day -day driving and on mild bush tracks. So today we're just gonna be taking it apart and seeing how much it has got inside. So if you're interested about seeing a bit more about how these work, then check out my other video, which has all that information. One quick thing I'm gonna say before we start is I am not affiliated with Donaldson or this Snorkel pre-cleaner, okay? I did pay full retail price for this cleaner and uh, received no discounts or promotions because of it. So in the last 10,000 K, we've done some varying terrains. Most of it though, however, has been on road. So about 8,000 kilometers of the driving we've done has been sealed roads. And that's a mixture of driving around town, highway driving, and also driving with our caravan attached, which does put a little bit more load on the engine. In addition to that, we've also done about 1,500 kilometers of gravel roads and bush tracks, uh, both by ourselves and in convoy and then about 500 or so kilometers of beach and sand driving. So a few different terrains there, but nothing extreme. So let's get into pulling this thing apart and seeing how much it's picked up. Okay, so there we have it. Now there's a lot of dirt and debris in there. So let's take this bowl over to the bench and uh, see what we've got inside. So here we have it, we've moved the, uh, the bowl over to this bench over here and uh, from here you can see just how much this thing has collected. See all that sand and debris in there moving around as I spin the bowl around. So uh, there's a fair bit in there, let's get it out onto the bench. So one thing I'm going to do is there is just a little bit stuck in there at the bottom here, so I'm just going to use this dry towel to try and uh, free up any of that uh, stuck material there. But one thing you'll notice as well is a lot of fine dust on the inside of this collection bowl here, and uh, not so much sand and debris, but just a lot of fine stuff there that uh, has been prevented from entering the factory airbox. Okay, so there we have it. It's all emptied now, and uh, here has, is what we've collected. So while it's laid out here, you can see exactly what we've collected up in this snorkel pre-cleaner here. So uh, one thing I've noticed is there are quite a few bugs and uh, flies. Um, there's an entire grasshopper in here as well, um, but a lot of sand and uh, little chunks of dirt as well. So um, as you can see, the flick it out here is quite deep, so there's a lot of debris uh, that's come out of this pre-cleaner. Uh, there is a little bit of white sand in there as well, which would be from our recent beach trip, and um, all the rest would just be from our gravel roads and day-to-day -day driving. So guys, overall, I am very pleased with the performance of this snorkel pre -cleaner. Uh, look, it's picked up obviously a lot of dirt and debris as we've just seen in just 10,000 kilometers. Now what that means is all that dirt and debris has not ended up in the factory air filter. Now look, it's not going to prevent things like dusting, which is quite common for these 200 series, but what it is going to do is it's going to unclog that factory air filter between services and mean that the car and the air box is going to be running as efficiently as possible between those filter replacements and uh, it's just going to allow maximum airflow and clean fresh air through the filter and through the engine at all times. Like I said earlier, we've done about 10,000 kilometers on varying terrains, um, both towing, um, unladen, around town and off-road. And look, I genuinely cannot uh, notice any difference in power or fuel consumption. There is no doubt that in the higher rev range, you can definitely hear the air being sucked through these lower fins on the bottom of the, uh, the pre-cleaner there. But I haven't noticed any drop in power and any fuel consumption. I'm not saying there isn't, I haven't put it on a dyno and tested it, but if there is, it is so negligible that it doesn't make a difference and uh, it's one of those things I'm happy to run with. When I first purchased this filter, I only had the intention to run it when we're going off-road, uh, on trips or in convoys. But after seeing how much it's picked up in the last 10,000 kilometers and 8,000 or so of that being on-road, I'm definitely gonna be leaving this on full-time. Uh, there's no harm for it to be on. I haven't noticed any power drop and uh, it's just gonna be helping keeping that air filter nice and clean between services. There we have it guys, just a nice quick video today in regards to how this snorkel pre-cleaner is going over 10,000 kilometers. And uh, 
my personal experiences with it. If you like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We do a few videos here on both our Land Cruiser 200 series and also the caravan that we tow, which is a Jayco Journey Outback. And we also post trips on there as well. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram there. And if you have any questions or queries, feel free to get in contact and we'll try and help you out wherever we can. One more thing I mentioned, I'll, uh, I bought this product online, so I'll stick a link in the description below. Thanks guys for watching again, and we'll see you in the next video.